All right, guys, I'm about to show you how to do Twixer for flow edits. All right, so what you want to do is just like put on Twixer Pro and it should pop up right here or wherever it's at for you. And for the settings, you want to uncheck this, make it 12, click enter. This, keep it as best, then this. You want to keyframe the speed to 100 and then you want to make blend to this one and inverse to this one then you want to like zoom in on your your time frame then go like a frame after and make this like 20 speed 20 and click enter all right so what you want to do now is to like pre-compose and click this right here click ok then you want to double click it go inside it and extend this like all the way if you can then you want to go back here then you want to click Ctrl T to bring up the keyframes. And then you want to go a frame before the end of this clip and pull it all the way to the end. So you want to just keep pulling it. Just keep pulling it. And you want to cut it. Okay, after you have this done, you want to do the same thing for this clip. But what you could do is just go inside of this and copy and paste the settings that you already have control C you go back here and control V then you do the same process like pre-compose you know just cut it right here go inside the comp extend this like both sides go back then click control Alt shift T to bring up the um the keyframes then you just want to keyframe at the start and find like a part that's not warped like for example right here maybe All right that's warped as well but you know, just find somewhere that's not warpy. I won't see when you edit it. You know, and then go right here. Go to where you want the Twixer to end. So we're just gonna keep going. Okay, right here is good. Then you just cut the frame, the frame after the keyframe. And you can just delete this if you want to. And then you can just play through it. So part one is done. What you want to do now is graph the keyframes, right? It depends on like the song that you choose. Like over time you learn what kind of graph works. But in this edit that I did, I did like two of the sharp graphs. So what I did was like I went into the, the graph editor, right? And then I just pulled one up like this and one down like this right here. And then I played through it to see what it looks like. And then you see that looks smooth already. So for the second one, like you could do the same. Like I said before, it really depends on the audio, but I'm editing this right now without an audio. So it's kind of weird. So you could probably use the same graph. Like this graph works for like almost every trickster that you'll need. But over time, you'll know it won't always work. So what you got to do is just adjust it to like what you want. You know, there's not just one way to do something in After Effects, right? So like, there you go. That's so how you get clean tricks, sir.